Welcome to the chronological reading of the New Testament. Over the next few months, we'll be reading the New Testament scriptures as they happened. This week, we'll be reading Acts chapters 1 to 4. The Jewish Feast of Weeks was called Pentecost by the Greek-speaking Jews because it was always celebrated 50 days after First Fruits, now known as Easter or Resurrection Sunday. It's one of the three main feasts in the Hebrew calendar. That's why so many foreign Jews were in town. Pentecost was the anniversary of the giving of the law at Mount Sinai and is considered to be the birthday of ancient Israel. Following that event, 3,000 Israelites died 1,400 years later, on the same day, the Holy Spirit was poured out on the Jewish people at Mount Zion. And that day, the birthday of the church, 3,000 were saved. It's possible that the 120 disciples were gathered for prayer in one of the large rooms in the temple that were available for public use. The temple plaza was about the size of six football fields and could accommodate thousands of people. This is just as well because three times a year at the Feast of Passover, Pentecost and Tabernacles, Jerusalem's population would swell from 80,000 to well over 250,000 people. When the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples through sounds like wind and flames like fire, they began to speak in languages they'd never learned. A crowd gathered to see where the sounds were coming from. On closer inspection, people who had gathered from different nations for this feast heard the praises of God in their own languages. When the crowd had gathered and calmed down, Peter stood up and preached the church's first sermon. And so the church was born. The word church is the Greek word ecclesia, a word which Jesus and the New Testament writers borrowed from the language of the day. It was a political term meaning an assembly of citizens. The church then is an assembly, gathering or congregation of those whose citizenship is in heaven. Both Luke's Gospel and the Book of Acts are addressed to a man named Theophilus, whom Luke calls most excellent. This is a term that was used when addressing government officials. Many Bible scholars believe that Theophilus was a Roman political figure that was probably a new convert. Luke writes to instruct him further and give him certainty and perfect understanding of his faith. The Book of Acts was written by Dr. Luke, probably in the early 70s AD but recounts the history of the church from AD 30 to 62. It contains quite a lot of medical language as well as legal defense. Some believe the book was written to show the innocence of Christians so that they should enjoy protection from persecution. The book also demonstrates the links Christianity has to Judaism as well as the unstoppable nature of the church. This week you'll read Acts chapters 1, 2, 3 and 4 Spread the reading throughout the week and make a note of a verse or two that speaks to you. Write the verse down, think about it, and write some thoughts on how this truth applies to your life. Have a great week.